Hey, what's up guys, Lomine here. I'm going to show you how to install the in-game price checker for Path of Exile 2. It's called Exile Exchange 2. I'll have a link to this website in the description, but you can also just Google Exile Exchange 2 and it's the first link. It's the GitHub link right here. This setup is only going to be for Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you need other operating systems like Linux or Mac OS or kind of on your own, but just click these right here to download those versions, but we're going to be using Windows 10 installer. So just click this link right here. It's going to download a little executable file. So once it's done downloading right here, you can just click it right here. And again, if you're on Windows 10, it's going to give you a warning right here. So just click more info and then click run anyway. This is pretty safe, guys. It's a fork off of a Wicked PoE trade, I believe. And again, just click the users you want to install it for. Um, click the first option if you want to install it for all users. And click the second option if you have like your own profile or something like that. Um, again, that's up to you. Just click next. And then click the destination folder where to install it and everything. And then just click install. And it's going to be a pretty quick install, guys. And once you're done installing it, just make sure you check run Exiled Exchange 2 if you want to run it on startup, basically. And if you want to just run it right away, I mean, not on startup. And then you can see right here in your setup tray right here, this is uh, this is running right here, Exiled Exchange 2. Um, so now when you go in-game, it'll give you a little, little message right here, Exiled Exchange 2 is running in the background. And before you start price checking stuff, guys, you want to go into the settings for Exiled Exchange 2 first. To do that, you have to be logged into Path of Exile 2 and be in-game. And you press the shift key on your keyboard and the spacebar key together. And then it's going to bring up this little window right here. Click on this little cog icon right here. And it's going to open the settings menu. Again, you can set your hotkey here. I'll explain that later down the video. And here's the important part under the price check option here. You will find the league option. This is by default set to standard. You want to click it to Rise of the Abyssal. Or if you're playing hardcore, you want to select Hardcore Rise of the Abyssal or standard or just hardcore again that's up to you again most of you are going to be playing rise of the abyssal softcore this is the correct option right here and make sure you click save and that's it guys if you want to price check an item just press Control d we uh again we set the leak to rise of the abyssal you can also set it from here guys if you just left click it right here it will bring you to the same window that we were at earlier and you can select whatever league you want and just click, make sure you hit save right but another thing to keep an eye out for is update available so it will tell you right up here update available whenever you price check an item if there's an update available and it says it will be installed automatically on exit, right? So what you do is um, to install the update, just click the tray Windows tray right here and then click right click it and then just click quit. When you hit quit, it's going to automatically install the update for you. So once it's done exiting, the uh, the update is installed. Again, you can see it disappeared. So that means the update is done installing. Uh, type in Excel Exchange 2 and just restart the program. Again, you'll get like a little message Excel Exchange 2 is running in the background. And again, you can price check any item. And again, you can see the update warning is gone, which means the update was installed successfully. Again, one more thing to keep in mind, guys. In order to successfully run this while you're in game, you need to be playing in Windows full screen mode, guys. This will not work if you're playing in full screen, guys. It only, it works best in windowed full screen mode. Just keep that in mind, guys. So if your macro is not working, just make sure you're only playing in Windows full screen mode or else it will be really weird behavior and it might not work at all, right? And one last thing, guys, in order to access the Excel Exchange to settings in game, all you do is press your shift key and spacebar key together and it'll bring up this menu right here. Just click the cog right here. It's the exact same thing as Awakened PoE Trade 2. It's just a different name, basically. In order to set your price checking hotkey, all you do is right here, it says open without auto hide. Just click this right here, minus control D by default. Um, that's what it is by default for most people, I think. But you can change it to any hotkey you want. And again, there's uh, different options for basically anything else you want. This is not a detailed guide for any other options. This is just to get your price checker up and running. And again, this program is in beta right now, so there will be bugs. But again, just you know, whatever hotkey you want to price check with, just set it right here and just click save. And again, guys, to price check anything, it's just control D. And again, you can switch between uh, Exalted Orbs and Divine Orb Ratios. And uh, there you go, guys. That's basically it. And that's it, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you join our Discord. Everything should be in the description. And make sure you uh, come say hi on Twitch, Twitch.tv forward slash no minds. I will be streaming all leaks chart way longer than usual streams, you know. I will be live shortly after posting this video also. So again, guys, that's it for the video. Thanks so much for all the support, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Have a good one. No mind out.